all right headed back i'm standing in the middle of the grand loop road up at swan flat lake swan lake flat glen creek trailhead bunton peak road trail we just came up it took us a little over three hours with all of our stopping to come up it won't take nearly that long going down trailhead. So, the bison walking through here just tore up the beginning part of the trail. Look how much here. They just punch a few holes.
bust ass for those trees. We gotta get to the trees, man. Wind is really persistent. Not many people witness this this time of year. Snowmobiles have to be with a authorized tour. With no wind, I gotta take these gloves off. It's absolutely amazing what this little forest cover will do. There's like no wind at all here.
really cool. No, a little bit of wind. Yellowstone in winter. We gonna eat something? It was that vehicle. I said, do you want to eat something? Eventually, yeah, when we get out of the wind. Well, we're kind of out of the wind now, but... Another little open stretch. It'll probably be windy through here. Bunsen Peak. Yep. Wherever you want, I don't care. Up by that tree right there. We go underneath it. Hey, see how it's cut? We probably don't have to.
No place. Uh, back in a minute. It's amazing how these little trees just block all the wind. You gonna make it? I said, is he gonna make it? It's pretty crazy up here, man. Not many people witness this this time of year. That's what's cool about it. I knew I was, I was, that's why I got two. Okay. All right, now we're back in the trees. I can slow down a little bit. I think we're going to get, we're getting close to that other trailhead. Right? Just that we're out of the wind now. <sighs> Is this little bit of snow slowing this snow down at all? It is actually. This is going to help us on the way out of here. 
Because this is what happened last time. Yep. It was like perfect speed condition on the way out. I know. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Hopefully the wind will be at a max on Hurricane Point. It should be nice and calm on the other side, though. Hopefully. I survived Hurricane Corner. Did that girl have my teeth? It looked like them. They were blue rosing nulls like oh, yeah. that. Alright, it's going to be windy going through here until we get to those other trees. Now I can already see the snow blowing across from right to left. Save up some energy and bust ass across there. Well, this is a preamble to that, so you might as well do it now. We got one more group of trees too. I think that next group's probably where that trailhead was. I remember it was in the trees. <sighs> Did it look like there was any trail going in before us today? I don't think... No, there, it didn't look like anybody was ahead of us. They, they either made a big loop or got... Some other people came that way and turned around before them. Somebody wrote dad in the snow. Did you see that shit? I wasn't paying attention now. Yeah. <laughs> so there were some other skews that came in and stopped and on turned the hurricane around. corner and then turned around and come back. So I wonder where the fuck they're coming from. Some input on the other side over here. Well, if we would have kept going up whatchamacallit, Golden Gate, we would have come out in that area. Yeah. Down a little bit toward that waterfall. Huh. And then a Sportsman's Pass would have connected up with both of those and that Glen Creek. Sportsman's Pass? Or Snow Pass, excuse Snow me. Pass. Snow Pass. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of Sportsman's Lake at the end of... Oh! Cool, man. We made it all the way to the road. Woo! Yep. Now we got to make it all the way back. <laughs> it's going to be easy for Eric. Once we get to a certain point, Eric and I, we're going to fly the fuck out of there. Yep. So we'll stop and turn around and, and do some hills over and over and over again so we can Stretch out. wait for you. Yeah, it's going to take me longer. We'll wait for you. Oh, that feels good. Stretch out the hamstring. What we got to do is survive Hurricane Alley. We can make it out of here live. All right, it's going to be windy until that next set of trees. Yep.
Can you say adventure? I thought you could. Trees ahoy. It's crazy. The wind has erased our trail in. No signs of us coming in. C-R-A-Z-Y Shelter in the trees. You know, I can feel this is actually uphill slightly. So. Ah, there we go. Windbreak. I love trees. <laughs> that wasn't even Hurricane Alley there. I don't know, I was thinking it was kind of a long way. I kept thinking, wow, where's the road? Oh, yeah? Yeah. But we haven't even got to that trailhead yet. I know it's all downhill from Osprey Falls, so once I get to that point, I know mentally. I don't know. I think we go through this. No covered. No cop. I 
seen a snow cock and ball. I think last time on a tree. Wow, that's a skinny little. <laughs> that's funny. Woo, shelter from the wind. Yeah. I love trees. Feels like we're slightly going downhill now. Might have peaked. <clears throat> Trail mix. Dried fruit. Good energy. Yeah, they're picking pace up, so we're heading downhill again. Uh, again. Yeah. We're not moving all that fast, so it's known that it's not too. Good. I don't really see my tracks coming in. Those two skiers, oh here I am. Those two skiers must have. Over. Those guys skied over on me coming out, going out. But yeah. Hey, trailhead. Cool. <sighs> Sheep eater went to the right. No wind, I'm actually a bit really warm, but I think Hurricane Alley's coming right up here. So it gets windy. And we're starting to get some visibility back.
this might be it. Still a bunch of trees around. See them heading upward, okay. And that's where we get to. Pretty crazy, man. burning there for a little bit muscles but that is gone my hiking shape is not something I have a problem with I just need to build up more cardiovascular which I'm already doing at a great accelerated pace windy through here. Still gotta be aware of my surroundings. There's still wolves and coyotes. Foxes. Coyotes and foxes I'm not too worried about. pack of wolves, that would be different.
I'm going to have to stop for a minute. Let my legs recover. Ah, that's cool. It is windy, but it's kind of at my back. Alright, legs are feeling better. Hurricane Alley. Not too bad because the wind's at my back. My backpack and my polar fleece are blocking all the wind.
soon I'm probably going to stop here before going up this hill. Yeah, there's the wind. At my back. It barely affected me at all. <sighs> all right, I gotta get up there into those trees, and then I do believe the wind should probably die down a bit. <sighs> Almost to the top. Shifted a tiny bit. They're not at my back anymore.
crazy, crazy, crazy. This is Hurricane Alley, I believe. That set of trees, if you can see it, dead ahead is my refuge. My shelter from the storm. Here's that crazy wind blown rock. That would suck if that strap was flapping in front of my lens and I didn't realize it. The wind is once again behind me. Oh, the trees are getting bigger. Bigger and closer. Wait to stop in these trees.
Sure is pretty, see? I can talk. <laughs> the long, quiet hike out. <sighs> Gotta concentrate. Oh no, deep grade.
eighth grade. There's one of the two. Where's the other one at? You all right? Yeah, I have no idea what he's doing. Uh -huh. Ooh, that's pretty steep. Whoa! That's pretty deep. Woo! We stopped here before. Damn, he's flying! Osprey Falls Trailhead. I'll do this some other time. That looks like a snowshoe trail. Fun snowshoe trail. I can remember that. I'm going to wait for you at that, um, that rim. We're going to bowl up there for last time. He knows what he's doing. It's a little steep here. I might have to run at places. Like right here. Oh, gravity. Oh, there's Two batteries and an SD card. This is a small SD card, but we're almost out of here. I had a little bit of trouble with the camera between the first battery change. I believe the battery that I installed was cold. And it just kicked off a couple of times. But then once it warmed up, it worked fine. 90% of this gets chopped up anyway. Just cool in case something will run out in front. Wildlife sighting. I 
think I seen the 32 megabyte SD card. SDHC. I believe it's a class 10. It's almost five hours of footage. It's four hours and fifty-five minutes. Yeah, that little stop to change the SD card kind of tightened up my legs. But it's not a major concern. Everything feels wonderful. No aches, no pains. A lot of wow. Every time I look around and say wow. Excellent, excellent workout. One of those rabbits stay at a certain altitude because you don't see any rabbit tracks down here now. <laughs> it's crazy. heavily traveled stuff. It's really noisy. I'm annoying myself.
going by space. Crazy switchback. We must be climbing up to do it again. Okay. A little over three hours. Oh yeah. Three hours and fifteen minutes, but we stopped a couple times. How far up you going? Okay. I got a good stride going. I don't want to stop. All right. Doing well, thanks. Oh, concentrate. Oh, which way are you? Howdy. Good, good how are you? Good, good. Uh, woo, downhill. me pretty soon. Uh, it's leveling off a bit. There he is. Yeah, he's got these high speed corners down. Hull doesn't yet. You don't have the confidence yet. All right. 
here is the low point. Man. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, I'm going to stop this clip right here. Because this is a workout up. Alright, I just took a big old drink of water. Let's see how long it takes to hike up to the car. I don't even know how long this is, but it's uphill most of the way. Get the old heart rate up here a little bit. Not hot, not cold. Actually, it's an awesome day. Got to do an emergency layer up. Cool. Everything off to put a new layer in a windstorm. That was the first. Wow. being this steep. Alright. Try to find a different pace. Oh, I'm actually starting to sweat. Retaining so much heat, it's unreal. But we're almost to the vehicle. And food. Three quarters of the way. <sighs> Almost to the top. Yeah. I was going Mach 1 and I lost it. I hit, I hit a weird thing and it just sent me. And I, 
I hit so hard it was like... <laughs> That's all you learn. That's all you learn. These fuckers are really fast. Like they're really, they're really, they're really cheap areas. Yeah. I got one too many layers on now. I'm burning up. I know. That's why I'm not stopping. Again, she looked at me like I'm weird carrying bear spray. Uh, I seen her looking down like. I told her we went all the way to the, to the road. Ooh, doggy, that sandwich is gonna be good. Yeah. Oh. It might be so good, you might have to stop at the grocery store on the way out of town. Oh, man. Although, that trail mix up there really, really helps. usually works that way. But for you, it'll be twice as long. Uh. Hey, we've all done it. It'd be great, too, if she was snapping. <laughs> One lone bison sitting out there. Uh, 
Yeah. That was fun. Well, that huge downhill, man, if you get down it so fast, yeah. it takes you forever to go up that. Doggies. I'm gonna stop for a second. Wow. That was fun. Well, that sign back there said 5.2. This one says 5.0. So it's 10 mile hike. You know. That real nice trail book I have, I'm going to look it up and see. Because it'll tell you elevation change and everything. Dude, we hiked up into that snowstorm. And we hiked right back out of it. Yeah, I'm curious to how they got up there. Yeah, this is the home stretch. Yep. Got to finish strong. My knees are screaming right now, but... You bust up a hill. It's an ocean. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh yeah. It's an open area. Yeah. Oh, almost all the way around that mountain. And then at the other end where where we started back, there's actually a two-mile two trail up to Bunsen Peak. Man. I'd have to be in Herculean shape to do that whole thing. Yeah. Okay. 
ahead, ahoy. Oh, turn plane. See, the sign says five miles. So, well, don't really matter. Did it. Ten whatever miles. what you call snowshoeing in Yellowstone National Park. <laughs> yeah! Ah! 